Alright guys, so hello and welcome back to Alan Wake. In the last video, we learned that Alice had, was never kidnapped. In fact, as of right now, we think she might be dead. Um, we are fixing to follow Dr. Hartman. Uh, he saved Alan in the uh, last video after he fell. Uh, and then he brought him here to his clinic. But I, f I get the feeling that Alan has been this here for some time. This most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Yeah, I, I honestly get the feeling that Alan has been in here for some time and everything that's going on. I get the feeling that maybe it's, I don't know, maybe he's just dreaming it? I don't know. It's kind of strange at the moment. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Okay, I saw a thermos up there, but maybe I'll be able to come back later and pick it up. I feel like there's going to be a whole level right here in this clinic. Okay, where are we going? Right here? <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Okay. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Okay, so I couldn't have come, come up here a minute ago anyway. Wait. I, I could have swore I saw a thermos up here a minute ago. Here's the entrance to the office wing. 
Oh, there's one right there. How did I not see it through that other door, though? Am I going crazy? Because I could have swore there was like a desk or something sitting right here, and I saw it. Alright, what's going on with this guy? Okay, I'm over here by you, Dr. Hartman. Where are we going? Bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him. I'm happy to I say. I can tell. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's <laughs> <a> <laughs> of course, but it does I'll involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. That, that elbow strike got me. Now he's over there doing the crane kick. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. So that's what we've been seeing throughout the game is when he's in there writing on a typewriter, we're actually seeing, I guess, reality. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give the we're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need, your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be able to solve they won't be solved overnight give yourself permission to take the time you need bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment okay so that's right he's supposed to be a creative My oh this those are two guys There's from the bar coming. Oh, what a storm night springs wipes this place off the face of the earth What's he doing and with the? These two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Okay. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy. Sorry about that. I mashed the button. I'm trying to adjust my seat. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Sane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. 
My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Yeah, there's something off about Hartman for sure. I, um, just the way that he, oh, he's already knocked over the furniture. Is there anything over here? Looks like we got a, a painter. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Okay. So... Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Okay, so... Dr. Hartman has pictures... in his room that this guy has painted for him. Alright, so let me see if I can remember how to get back Shut to my room. Up. Shut up. I don't think I can go in here. Hey, Patients' wait. rooms. The Why doors were locked. Dr. Hartman, Hartman and the, the nurses right. would have keys, uh, but there was no way room. to get my hands you on them. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Okay. Them talking at the same time, it was hard for me to keep up with both of them. Um, uh oh. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me. Using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. <laughs> Him and them crazy eyes. So I do. I still believe that that is um, a live action. Like there's a. I think that's called a QR code. I could be wrong. Okay, wait a minute. Is this? This might have been where I saw that thermos. No, how would I have seen that thermos from down there? Maybe that is the one I saw. I don't know. Okay, I can't get in there. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Okay, there's my room there. Let's see, Lane. I guess I can go into these other rooms. There's Emerson. Oh, I can. I can explore his room. Let's see. So this looks like where a lot of those... Um... The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. So this looks like this would have been the room where we're, where we're seeing him uh, on those television sets where he's like just kind of giving the crazy eyes. Investigate the racket. Pick up manuscript, okay? Something tells me we're fixing to have to. It's my store. I'm taking Sinclair it. looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. 
The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Yours, I could get the key to the office from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's Come where he'd be keeping them. Face the music, Birch. It's time to pay the piper. Okay, go to Hartman's office. So. Maybe you could come out and clean our windows. Uh, let's see. All right, so here's Hartman's office, I think. Maybe not. The let's see what is this. The tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Okay, before I started that, I wanted him to finish with what he was saying. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. Not with me. No. Never. I... What she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. So that was the phone call that, uh... She had made before the game started. So there is the guy that supposedly kidnapped her right there. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Yeah, I feel like Hartman's behind this. All right, so we need to find... Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to split! I don't know if that's the door... Oh no, this is the one we gotta go through. Barry? Oh. Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy out, but he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. <laughs> he stole it from Rose. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. 
You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Harvey, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. So that's that, huh? Just gonna leave him to die. I had to find a way out. But I mean, I guess he did kinda Uh oh. Alright, uh oh. Whoa. Do I go out the front door? Oh nope. Okay, that's gonna hurt. I can't go out the front door. Turn on the generator. What are we focusing on? Oh. Okay, so that's... Let's get rid of all the... Well, not all of them. We got rid of most of them. What is this? Oh, I can't. Nothing I can grab. I need to get Al. Well, that's just great. There's a flare now. Okay, where's the door? I guess uh, I gotta do this. Oh, that was my one and only flare. Checkpoint reached. Escape clinic. Okay, uh, let's see. What a. Thought maybe I could go through the store, but. Oh. Maybe I'm supposed to go through here? Okay, so which door am I supposed to go through? Or am I supposed to wait for this thing just to... Knock the door down? Okay, yep. And I don't have any kind of light. Okay. Oh, I see. Thank you. Oh, that's... Wait, hang on. There's a thermos right here. Okay. Let's make our way out of here now. Oh, wait. Hang on. He's getting... He's getting tired. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, Are you kidding me? Don't have a light. Take this, Al. Now you go get in the car. Look at the house, Al. Look out. Hedge. Of course, I would have to take and go through the maze to get out. Oh, geez, the house looks bad. Let's get out of here. oh you know, I gotta go through a maze before I can get out of here. If I can figure out um, how to get out of here. Oh, 
I'm doing my best, Barry. I mean, it's not... Oh, goodness! Okay, I'm getting attacked. How much? Oh, okay. I did. I have more ammo than I thought. I guess I just picked up a, a few rounds. Don't trust. What does that say? Is it supposed to say Emily? It's just missing the Y. Okay, we got enemies. Coming back out. I can hear him. Yes, I can hear him. Okay. That was one. There's going to be another one somewhere. Oh, there's two in here. Oh, no, hang on. Big guy gets the flare. Okay, get up off me. Hang on, here's another flare. Come on, come on. There we go. Used all my flares, though. I, I would have liked. Wait, hang on. Okay, I'm really trying to make sure I'm checking every corner as well while I'm in here. I feel like maybe this is the direction I need to be going. See. Nope. Okay, that's not the right direction. And I'm gonna get myself lost in here. Okay, I think this is where I was just at. I think I ran back here already and I found that manuscript. Yeah. So. And I think this is where I came from. Oh my god. Goodness. <laughs> This is, uh... Okay, this has got to be the center of the maze here. Or am I going right back the direction that I came from? This feels... Feels like this is where I was at. Yeah, see, I came through here. Let me try to go this way. Was this a dead end back here? Yeah, this is a dead end. What am I missing? No openings in here, right? Nope. And that, I think, is a dead end. Nope, this is the dead end. Okay. What about here? That's the dead end. What about back here? Here we go. Proceed through the garden. More ammo. Okay, it looks like we haven't completely made it out of the maze yet. You get two barrels in the morning and then you'll be nice and cold. That sounds like Emerson. Nope, that's uh That's the pet gorilla as I, I think you put it. I should have saved my 
Oh, great. Oh, come on, stop it. I don't have nothing to fight them birds off with. Oh, good grief. Birds need to go away. I, they are driving me insane. Okay. No. Ah, these dang birds. Alright, I almost got his shield down. Come on. There we go, finally. Get this flare gun. Oh, come on. Okay, I don't want to shoot that flare gun off at them. There we go. Are they gone? I think they're gone. My goodness, I was having some trouble with that part. Okay, now we can push forward, finally. Because, oh man, I can't tell you how many times I was having to redo that part back there. Uh, let's see. Oh, the shotgun, man, where were you at a minute ago? I could have really used you. So I'm just realizing, too, that... that name on the rock back there that I saw. I thought it was missing the Y for Emily. It was actually Emil Hartman's name. Okay. Get... Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, out of bullets. Gotta reload. There we go. Man, we had a pump-action shotgun a little bit, or, well, last video, not a little bit ago, but last video. Now we're back to the two-slug shot, I guess is the best way to put it. Okay, here we go. Got a flare. Do I go? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, wow. You know what, hang on. Oh, that wheelbarrow was still alive. So that flare was meant for me to use that on that gate anyway, I suppose. Did I just get shotgun ammo? No, okay, I just picked up two boxes of revolver ammo. Alright, so there's more to this clinic than what we were actually seeing. Uh oh. Alright, I cannot... Back up off me, Trackstar. What is that? Is that an arrow? Be nice if there was like a chest around here somewhere that I could 
open up and get me some, like maybe a flare gun or something. Oh look, there's a chest right there. And a flare gun's in it. Asking you shall receive, right? I don't want to use that unless I absolutely have to, though. Okay, now I need to go... What direction are, are we going? Up these stairs, maybe? Got a flare up here. Another checkpoint. That's good. Two flares. Is that the pump action? That is a pump action, I think. Nope, it's just a shotgun. Okay. I think we need to go up that way, perhaps? No, that's a manuscript back here, though. I think that's where we're going. Is that... Is that Barry? Don't tell me. It looks like he's... Is he good? Ow! Alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when Fasky showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Oh no. Hurry up, Barry. Come on, come on it. Ah, come on now, get off me. Okay, I cannot be standing up here. Ah. You get a bullet. They didn't kill you. Man, get up off of me. Freaking terrific. Nobody cares about your quarter, Barry. Oh my goodness. Oh, back off of me, please. Alright, let's go. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. Crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. 
But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Lost his gun and his flashlight. Okay, let's see Barry. if we can make it down to the car real Barry. quick. Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop! Don't worry, you're cut out. Oh, I see him. Forget that. Are you okay? Hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. A taken. Okay, so. Yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? I hope Barry makes it. He's he's quite a character, isn't he? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm now. I'll be waiting. Barry, right. just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Okay, so here we are at the checkpoint. I'm actually going to stop this here, so um, it should have saved my progress. It looks like there's a manuscript down there. Maybe, up oh, and there goes Barry. He's going to beat us to the farm. Okay. I do think that we are probably getting to the end of this game. Um, so when we get back, we, we, we might be doing the last level. Hopefully we'll find out if Alice is alive. I'm, I'm hoping she makes it through this. But um, in the meantime, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.